know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh. Hi there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, your friend, Manny, and I'm so happy to see you today. <sighs> As you can see, I'm really trying hard to get excited about this plain old bubble wand, but I'm having kind of a hard time. All I can think about is how much fun I had with other awesome bubble wands. Remember all the cool new bubble wands that I surprised my family with on Thanksgiving celebration? Those were all so cool. Cousin Carol loved our purple one so much. And then, remember the huge bubble that Harper stood in? Wow, that was so much fun. We had the best time. The bubble was incredible. It was just so big. <sighs> just makes me feel a little bummed about playing with the silly little regular old bubble wand. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? You look like you're feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie. I'm not really sad. I'm just so excited about playing with this plain old bubble wand. It's easy to be thankful on super fun days. That's true. But every day is a gift for me and for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Come on, Stormy. Eat your dinner. I know it's a new food, but I want you to try it. Please. Oh, <laughs> hi friends. I'm Carrie and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I want her to try something new for dinner today and she is not excited, but we should be thankful for our food. That, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> Great. Well, today's true story from the Bible starts in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Well, it's hot and sandy and sweaty. Oh, look, it's the Israelites. They are God's people. But do they look happy? No, they look hot, and sweaty, and what are they doing? Holding their stomachs? What do you think that means? Oh, they're hungry. I think you're right. So God told them, I will rain down bread for you from heaven tonight. And when you wake up, you can eat it. And that night, while everyone was sleeping, God made it rain bread. Have you ever heard of something so cool? God made bread come down from the sky. And when the people woke up, they were so excited. They said, God gave us food today. Thank you, God. They were so thankful. But everyone say, uh-oh. Ready? Uh-oh. Look at their faces. Do they look happy to you? No way. Do they look thankful? No, you know what they are, worry. The Israelites got worried that God wouldn't bring them food tomorrow. They went to bed worried. But when they woke up, there was bread on the ground again. Yay, God gave us food today. Thank you, God. Surely they'll stay thankful now, right? Uh-oh, not again. They worried until they went to bed. But every morning they woke up to bread. Day after day, this happened over and over until finally, the Israelites stopped worrying and they knew they could trust God to give them what they needed each day. And they were thankful. But what about us? Will God give us what we need each day? <laughs> yes, and all we have to be is thankful. Thankful when it's pizza day or rice day or Brussels sprouts day or taco Tuesday because God gives us what we need. 
Good dog, Stormy. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God gave the people what they needed, and he does the same for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, God gave the people what they needed, and they were thankful. We can all be thankful on special days and on just what we need days. I think I got story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what? I can still be thankful about this bubble wand. And look what I can do with them. Pretty cool, huh? I'll see you next time. Bye!